Hi, welcome to the Sty Designer video tutorial. For this video, we are going to look at, at MCOR plunger pins. So if you go up to the pins and curves menu, scroll down to MCOR plunger pins, or CX from the command line, and uh, that will bring up the dialog box uh, to run you through this. And you have our uh, various pin diameters, and then the image based on the selected view, in this case the plan view. Uh, the plan view hidden, where, where the body diameter would be hidden, such as beneath a pressure pad, and this is being used as a transfer pin, where in the regular plan view, maybe it's just used as a stock lifter. Uh, we have our profile view. Uh, just to let you know where our length spec is when prompted for the length and the insertion point in the direction. A couple other notes depending on the pin diameter selected. It'll give you your catalog number. Uh, just to note these are packed in 12 per box. Um, so if there's five of them you're ordering a box and it's one box with 12 in it. Uh, based on the pin diameter, we have a maximum pin length. Certainly you can grind it shorter to suit, uh, put a radius on the top of it, you know, do whatever you want. But when it comes in, you know, in this case, the half inch is uh, two and a half inches long, max length, and the 332nd is only an inch and a half long. Uh, just a note, so when you're going to draw these in in the profile view, you know, you don't want to exceed the maximum length for whatever diameter you have chosen. Also note, the body diameter of these pins is ground, and it's two to two and a half thousandths under these nominal fraction numbers. So, you know, a drill hole of these, this size is, is, um, is fine for a, a slip fit. Uh, we go to our help. And yeah, just a description, our command line CX, our menu location, and then some of the intelligence, bill of materials. Um, if you link these plunger pins with the uh, leader ballooning, um, you know, it'll automatically uh, put it into the bill of materials for you, providing quantities cat and catalog numbers for ordering. Uh, the object transform, uh, when you go to the detail level, um, they transform by default into a drill hole of the pin diameter. Uh, let's say, for instance, it's a counterboard hole um, instead of just a drill hole. You, you're counterboarding into something. Um, then you would simply go up to this hole types menu. Um, in this instance, it can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, you would go to uh, pin types, counterboard hole, or CR from the command line, draw in the counterboard hole, and then use a search and replace to replace all instances of the plunger pin instead of just object transforming them. Also, touch command, uh, mouse activated. So uh, if you draw put one in, in the pl uh, uh, plan view, either plan or plan hidden, uh, you can just click on it with the designated mouse button and it restarts the command by passing the dialog box and the command line for speed. Again, that note on the pin length and then, you know, a tip, but this is kind of a no-brainer. You know, if you're drawn in the profile view, you're going to put a spring behind it and a, a screw cap or a set screw or maybe just a counterboard pocket for the spring. And then uh, video demonstration, click that button, it'll bring up this video should you care to watch it again. So yeah, I'm going to start with a plan view. And like I said, this is not a full-blown design. It's just a bottom layout, rough layout uh, for me to demonstrate this particular component. So we'll go with a half inch in the plan view. Click OK. And I am going to go off middle, and we will accept the 0.750. Uh, now, I am going to draw this pin in the profile view. So, CX, go to profile. 
Uh, notice two and a half inch max pin length. Uh, grind it to suit, and I'll show you this. So, uh, snap to the intersection. Um, I know this die block is one inch thick, this die yoke, so I will use the 1.125 for the pin length, uh, which will give me an eighth inch of travel. The head diameter is 625. So I am going to use a three-quarter unified behind it in the profile view. I am going to take use a, a 5-8 spring glue. Um, in the profile view, the length doesn't matter so much because uh, we'll fine-tune it in the profile view. Okay. I'll measure the spring, 658, eighth inch of preload, eighth inch of travel. So let's stretch this up, 0.158. A little cleanup. Okay, um, let me do this first. Let's put a radius on here, say 0.030, just to take off that sharp edge. A little more cleanup to extend this hole now. Yeah, okay. Now with this one eighth of travel, one eighth of preload, one and a half inch spring plus the one eighth plus the one eighth is a one and three quarter inch spring. SG. Now we're going to go to one and three quarter in the plan view, and it'll be the blue. And you got all your data here. It was for another video. And put it in. Let's put the unified behind it. Is a three quarter sixteen. Let's do it from the top. And there you have that. Let's copy it. Let's just get a second instance of this. And we'll go off middle. Use that three quarter. And let's snap to perpendicular. So we're going to have three of these lifter pins in here. Okay. I am going to show you some of the intelligence. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on it with the to show you the touch command. So there you go. I just click on it. It completely bypasses the dialog box. Um, the object transform, OT. There's your drilled holes. HD, select for hole data, select. And there's, there's your holes. So this is how you would transform on a, a, when you go to detail this, um, this die shoe out, or this uh, die yoke out. So, and let's go to balloons, split leader balloons. We'll start with balloon number one, snap to the center. And it's prompting us to link, so we know this is an intelligent component, so we will select it. Balloon two, vertical sub option, and let's select this die spring. Vertical, and let's select this unified screw plug. So yeah, now it's ballooned. Now if I scroll over here where I where the bill of materials would would uh, uh, be, go up to design aids, bill of materials, or BM, and yeah. There you go. It, it kicks it out. There's your three uh, five eight spring, your ha half inch plunger pin, catalog PP four, Amcor, uh, your unified screw plug, and with the correct quantities. Now, since I modified this, I could I could do a full blown detail of this this plunger pin, um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do do what I normally do for a catalog component. 
Oops. Rotate. Trim. Because remember, if these came in, you know, they'll come in out of the box from ordering at uh, two and a half inches long for these these half inch ones. So usually what I do, sometimes depending on the customer, I will do a full blown detail of it. But in this case, you're just ordering the plunger pins. I'll drag out a dimension. I got a radius there, so I'll spec out a dimension for the radius. Uh, we don't need four places for this, so I'll, I'll you know, and, and that's how I would detail this particular catalog item instead of a full-blown, full-blown detail. So, um, so yeah, um, just as a note, uh, should I keep going here? Let me freeze this. Let me copy this. Thought everything out. Let's do that object transform. So we got a die yoke, we got a backup plate, and we have a die shoe. Um, I'll just do the shoe or the backup plate and the yoke. So SS, I want to get rid of these uh, springs and unified object transform OT. Uh, these will be capped holes. Since they're there, I'll, I'll change them to capped holes. And this would be at the detail level. Uh, this would be the backup plate. So TC, these would be clearance holes. Okay. Um, this would be in the backup pla or plate, as you can see. It would be clearance for the head. So, I'll measure the ID of, this, of the cap screw, 687. Go to the chart, chart option. And I will use a search and replace. Um, that's, I think that's up in design aids. I just type SR. Oh, I'm sorry, from transform. Search and replace or SR. Select that, snap to the center of it, select a single group of objects that we're going to replace, select one object in that group, and now let's select all the groups. And it puts, erase that. And so, yes, yeah, so the, here we transformed, here we did a search and replace. Um, you know what, I'm going to quickly do a datum dimensioning. Base, auto, dimension. Uh, let's move this guy down. DT, base, new base point, auto, dimension. Now let's do the whole chart or whole table HD from the command line. We'll use the select sub option. Uh, it labeled all the holes. So, um, so yeah, pretty quick. Um, you know, like I said, I use I use these plunger pins usually for uh, one or two things: a stock lifter, uh, or the hidden plan view would be for like a pressure pad. Uh, some of the smaller diameters. Um, you know, you could certainly use that for a oil break for something. Um, you know. And it's up to you. Uh, they are nice. I like them because they, they are a ground body. They're slightly under that drill hold size. Uh, so you can just drill them if you need precision for whatever reason. Don't use a drill hole. Use a precision hole and use the search and replace. So I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.